so today I want to talk about some concepts that we study in physics that we take as absolute truths. While we already know from history that for any physics theory, there is always a higher understanding and a wider perspective that is waiting to be discovered. Uh, one example is the conservation of energy, where it is sometimes stated that the energy of the universe is constant. Uh, but we already know that the universe is expanding at an accelerated rate. And this can only mean that the energy of the universe is not constant, but actually that there is energy continuously entering the universe for it to expand at this accelerated rate. Uh, so this is one example of a scientific discovery that is not emphasized enough in physics undergraduate classes, and so it is not integrated enough into our own worldview. Uh, also, when I studied physics, I noticed how it is dominated by scientific materialism, uh, which sees consciousness as a product of matter put together as a physical brain. But if we look closely at Einstein's theory, we see that energy is more basic than matter, and matter itself is energy that is captured into a certain form. And so energy came first. Uh, but we do know that uh, thoughts and emotions are not physical phenomena, so we cannot see them or measure them, but we do experience them as real. And we know that they are a form of energy. And it does not make sense that this energy came into being after matter developed a certain complexity of their brain. Uh, also, the concept of energy is not integrated enough into our perception of the world. Uh, so physics showed that everything is made up of energy, uh, that matter itself is energy captured in form. And actually, if we fully adopt this idea of matter as vibrating energy, uh, then using Einstein's formula of E is equal to mc square, we can think of matter as energy that is stepped down in frequency by c square. Uh, so this energy reality revealed to us by physics really shows how fluid and dynamic uh, this what we call physical reality really is. And so what we perceive in our mind as a cup is actually an image constructed by the mind of the energy field of the cup. And since energy is a fluid substance, so it can shift to higher or lower vibrations, then this shows that what we perceive as solid objects are inherently flexible. Uh, also added to what physics has so far showed us, uh, quantum physics revealed many phenomena that defies our common sense and everyday experience. Where it showed that consciousness can interact with subatomic particles, which are energy waves themselves, and therefore consciousness can interact and influence the most fundamental aspects of matter and the deeper levels of reality. Or we can also say that the energy waves of the mind can change the energy waves of matter. And there is a mind-matter interaction and everything is an interconnected web of energy. But behind energy is information and it is a more basic unit than energy because it is information that instructs energy waves how to form elementary particles and then how particles form atoms and atoms form molecules and so on. And many scientists are realizing more that the basic building block of the universe is information, not subatomic particles, and information can only exist in a self-conscious mind. So perhaps one day science will make this shift into a new paradigm of information being the building block and subsequently consciousness being the fundamental reality. And perhaps one day they will look back at today's rigid materialistic worldview dominating science the same way of how we look at the theory that said the earth is flat. So physics has already expanded our worldview than what we constructed with what we call common sense. So I hope this video inspires you to always look beyond the norms of what is acceptable in the scientific community and go out of the box with new ideas. Uh, because all inventions that resulted in human progress came by through ideas that were out of the box or out of the norm of what was acceptable at the time in the scientific community.